My name is Lavelle Levette, and I am the publisher of One Street Books, and I'm also the managing partner for JVL Media. I am coming from uh, Houston, Texas. Well, I began my career as a teacher, as an educator. And through that process, I, um, I have a little brother. And at the time, my little brother was um, not wanting to read. And so I created these stories around uh, this rooster called Roopster Roo, who uses his ability to read to defeat the villains in the story. And I started telling him that story to get him excited about reading. And fast forward, I found myself with a pretty interesting story. People were saying, oh, you could get it published. And so that, that began me on that path of researching the publishing industry and sort of figuring out uh, what's the best way to go about getting this book published by a publisher. Figured that out, got that done, and then I was bitten by the publishing uh, bug and uh, got totally immersed in publishing and uh, trying to tell our stories. Based on that experience of me trying to tell this story, that's what opened up the world of publishing to me. I think the creative industry in Africa is robust. There are so many stories, there are so many great writers, great authors, um, and I think it's a matter of the ecosystem and how do we change the ecosystem so that we can evangelize, so that we can market, so that we can create that audience of buying public here on the continent, but also the world, because I believe our stories are for the world. They're for us, but they're for the world as well. And so that's a matter of distribution and how do we get those voices out there. I would say, I'm going to say publishing the book Finding Me by Viola Davis. It was an awesome experience not only in um, helping her to craft and tell her story and publish it, but that book is a testament to when a person uh, is allowed or a person can tell their story, their truth, and their authenticity, what a blockbuster that can create. And Viola Davis told her truth, unfiltered. And um, because of the position as a publisher, I was able to say, you know, we're going to tell this story unfiltered. And so that was a, a highlight of um, seeing that come to fruition, that um, uh, African-American woman, a black woman, was able to tell her story. <laughs> Well, we are immersed in a slate that goes on and on and on. So we have books that we're looking at publishing from um, 2024 all the way to 2028, and probably some that will end up on our slate in 2030. So we have a tapestry of all kinds of stories. And one unique thing that we're doing, not just as publishers, but as filmmakers, we are creating books that will translate to become a documentary or a film, major film. We're also creating films that can translate to become books. Uh, so we're excited about the tapestry of these great stories. And another thing, uh, I'm a student of history, and so there's a wealth of history uh, around the continent, the diaspora. And to be able to tell those stories, preserve those stories, is part of our mission as well. I would say keep creating, particularly writing, because everything stems from the written word, whether it's going to be a book or it's going to be a film. I encourage everyone to write their stories or, or, or bring to the forefront stories that you think we should be telling, you know, and um, I want to encourage young people to not only strive to make a difference in the world, but also strive to be the difference. You know, drop your buckets where they are and make a difference right where you are. And to me, that can transform and translate to the entire world.